10 tonight this week serves as flooding awareness week in Pennsylvania. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar learned the importance of being prepared for upcoming storms and joins us live from the River Commons in downtown Wilkes-Barre. Jake. Aaron, good evening. The Susquehanna River right behind me here is currently sitting at seven feet, which is well under the flooding stage. But in just a short few months with some storms, bodies of water like this one here had the possibility of causing flooding. As we were entering the season of spring, the sun was shining. It was a nice breezy 60 degrees this afternoon. But very soon, we may see some rain in our forecast. Since Pennsylvania is a state that is known to flood, especially in the Wyoming Valley, each March the National Weather Service promotes flood safety awareness ahead of those weather events. Mitchell Gaines is the lead meteorologist at the Binghamton Station of the National Weather Service. He says that it is important for drivers to remember Turn around, don't drown when roads become flooded. In the purpose of a vehicle, water only a couple of feet deep or even less, in some cases, can actually sweep a vehicle up. Gaines says that for homes, residents should also be prepared. Those who live in a floodplain, that flat area of land next to a river, are more likely to experience floods. In some cases, some areas are very vulnerable to the point of a uh, couple inches of rain, w water can come up uh, in the basements. But typically, property damage and other issues can arise, even with just a couple inches of water. With a storm approaching, some families may not have a plan in place in case something were to happen. Brad Greer, CEO of Dry Sea, says that it is important for families to have meetings and emergency kits in case a disaster were to strike. Well, at least quarterly have those meetings, uh, have flashlights, uh, fire extinguishers, batteries. Um, all of the items that are in that first aid kit. Greer agrees with the National Weather Service and urges motorists to avoid the roads that have been flooded. Now, one other tip that I found as well is that if you put one of those emergency kits in your car, make sure it's somewhere accessible. You know, make sure it's not all the way in your trunk and God forbid something were to happen, you aren't able to reach it in enough time. I know I got to run home and make sure that I put mine a little bit closer to the front seat as well. Reporting live from River Commons in downtown Wilkes-Barre, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first at 10.